Hello everybody, I'm Dan. In my Java Gotcha episodes, I present unusual examples of source code and have you try to figure out what the result will be. This is episode one. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com. Select menu and Java Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to select episode one, the mysterious string. So, um, come down here to the source code and basically I have two classes, gotcha1 and stringmaker. Inside of gotcha1 I've got the main method entry point here, right? And then in stringmaker I've got a simple little instance variable, private string, oops, and then a very simple method, add to string, and it receives a string type s parameter here, right? And basically it uses the plus equals operator to go ahead and keep um, appending whatever values come into the oops string there. And then one more simple little method called getString, which just simply returns the uh, value of oops. All right, so let's come back up here to the main method. And um, first statement, string maker sm. So I got an sm re reference variable, string maker type. And I'm setting that equal to a reference to a new instance of a string maker object. And then I'm using that reference variable to and the dot operator to invoke the add to string method, and I'm passing it the string literal hello. And then I do that for a space and another string literal world, right? And then I simply call the print line method, and then the sm reference variable, the dot operator, and then get string, right? So um, the question is, what will this display? All right, let's go ahead and highlight this code here. Control C to copy, or right click and select copy. Move my browser off screen here. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by right clicking, selecting new shortcut. CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's open this up. Java C, enter. First thing you want to do, type that in. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory called Java using the MD command. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create one for you. Change directories to the Java folder. Make a directory here, I'm going to just call this uh, gotcha1. Change directories to it, and then notepad, gotcha1.java. Gotcha1.java is the name of the source code file there. Okay, paste this stuff in here, save. And let's uh, come back over here. Let's clear our screen. Java C, which is Java compiler. And then we want to pass it the, as an argument and uh, list the file we want to compile there. Let's go ahead and compile it. Compile fine. And Java. And then we want to invoke the gotcha. Java is the command to run the Java virtual machine. And we want to invoke the gotcha one class, right? This right here. Okay. So it displays to the console, N-U-L-L, -L, null, hello world. All right, so look at this code and see what you can figure out there. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a real big hint there, if, in case you're looking at it going, okay, well, I don't, I don't see it there. All right, so every object, when we create an object, um, variable, um, well, reference variable to an object of an object specific type, right? And we don't actually assign it a value right off there. It will be implicitly assigned to null. So this line right down here, private string oops, right? This is implicit. Jeez, if I could type today assign null. And of course null means nothing, right? And so you might be going, well what on earth? Okay, we can even say we say this is null too. This is no different by explicitly doing this versus implicitly. We come up here, we save this, right? And we go ahead and do that, right? Okay, look at that, we still get the same thing. All right, so the whole problem is, is with the plus equals operator here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this stuff out. It will actually, um, specifically the plus portion, the plus operator, concatenation, string concatenation operator, 
We'll take null and actually turn that into like quote null, right? Okay, so if you don't believe me, let's come up here and let's say, for example, like string blah equals null, right? And we can display that to the console. And let's save this and run it. Oh, whoops, I took out, oops. We got too much there on that line. All right, let's clear our screen. Okay, so our second thing that we're displaying to the console is actually null, right? So it doesn't actually display like, for example, like nothing, right? Like that, it actually displays null. So literally, what's going on there at that point? Um, if we were to, for example, try to use the, if you're watching my tutorials, you know that the concatenation op, we can, for example, like do blah equals blah dot concat, right? And if we tried to concat the string literal hello to this, what's going to happen? <clears throat> I'll show you. There, we get an exception in thread main at java lang null pointer exception thrown, right, at line 12. So, it, it basically is, is complaining because we're trying to take a null string and concat hello to it. You know, and um, if you watch my tutorials on concat, a lot of people think that uh, the concat operator is just the same, uh, the concat method in the string class is the same as the plus concatenation operator, and it's completely not at all, right? Because we can literally come up here and do, here's, this is going to look strange to you here, right? We can, we can do, we can do exactly this. Okay, so that there is like one of these gotcha moments there of using strange sort of stuff. And, but you got to realize that's actually how Java, Java works there. So, um. The golden rule that I've been saying, uh, been, well, when I initial, talked about initializing variables and everything like that, is you always want to initialize your variables to an initial value, right? Um, because, and especially with the string object, and if you ever end up using, like, you know, the plus concatenation operator here, you know, some strange stuff can happen. So if we had originally initialized this private string, oops, and set it equal to an empty string, um, our results would have been what we expected in the first place there, right? Hello world. Okay, so that is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and get that off screen. And that concludes episode one of the Java Gotcha series. Thanks for watching.